I, I don't think Shannon should be feeling bad. I know she's feeling bad, but she doesn't need to feel bad. We called her. He wanted to know what's in her heart, and she gave it to him. It's as simple as that. Yeah. It is so, the hypocrisy for me. It is the hypocrisy for me, Charlie. Really? You know Queens Love Island USA fans, welcome back to my channel. It's Love Island USA season 3 episode 20, guys. Oh my god. Not again. Not again. Like, I can't believe Kasha is going through this all over again and it sucks. It's crazy. It's annoying. I, like, I'm so pissed right now because how can she be going like this girl? I, I'm just so scared that she's going to have you know, a melting point somewhere on the show, like she's going to break down because this whole thing might affect her mentally. Like, it's crazy. It's it's just so annoying. Charlie, come on. Like, see, I get it, guys. I know there's been a lot of people, you know, saying, oh, yeah, Kashi got what she's looking for. If Charlie is turning her because she cost it, she couldn't make up her mind in time. Cinco couldn't make up his mind in two weeks. It's not easy. She needed to come to an agreement. Okay, guys, by the way, please pardon any noise. My kids just refuse to go to bed. So <laughs> I, I, I've tried, but you're not going to bed. I just have to do this review real quick. Okay, so yeah, she she, did, she made a decision within three days, I think, as compared to Cinco, you know. I know it's not the same. Cinco is a guy, she's a girl, but come on. Like, she carried charlie you know every step of the way i was even annoyed with the way she had to go back to charlie to tell him every single thing she said they said you know i was like can you stop because she wanted to carry charlie every single step of the way and now he's in his feelings he's pulling back all of a sudden he's having cold feet because he's now in the villa like even the new girls that came in today they as far as i'm concerned they're not into charlie Alana or whatever, she knows that the single guys, which is Corey and Jeremy, are not into her. So she's trying to focus on Charlie. But if you ask me, none of the girls are into Charlie. It's Charlie who's even kind of pursuing them. In my opinion, like this whole thing really sucks. And it's it's freaking me out. It's making me mad. It's making me, you know, oh, okay. Okay, okay, calm down, Royal, calm down. Okay, so... The episode started with the new girls coming in, Bailey, is it Arlana and Ellie? They came in and yes, the single guys, Corey, Jeremy, Will. I don't know why Will was among them. Will is not single anyway. Yeah, they seem to be very much excited to host the girls and they had their dinner thing. The other ladies were checking out, getting jealous. Um, Olivia was jealous, of course. Kira was jealous, you know, and of course, um, Cache was jealous, like, hey, Charlie had his shirt open, you know, seductive. <laughs> yeah, but, um, so yeah, they had the dinner and Jeremy and Corey, it's feeling Bailey, like the two of them, it's feeling the same girl. Yes, the, I don't know why Corey and Jeremy always go after the same girl, you know, but yeah, they're feeling the same girl. Alana was cool as well as Ellie, but Corey and Jeremy, they are feeling the same girl. So that was it with the with the dinner thing they had. So Trina had this conversation with Will, you know, she kind of checked on Will because of the Will and Shannon's, you know, confrontation and outburst the day before, I think. Yeah, so um, Trina was like, um, I know Shannon is still mad and blah, blah, and we was just explaining himself i know we was like oh yes this girl she came to me she said she wanted me you know i didn't stay i put a pillow yes flo did said she wanted will and she was his she was persistent about it no doubt but will just making it look like it was a one side thing like he never reciprocated you know i don't want to drag that matter any further because since shannon has backed up you know uh, I, personally, I don't want to drag it any further. If Kira is all in, like she doesn't care what her man did, I think everybody should back up as well. So yeah, uh, Trina had that conversation with, with Will. She tried to reason with Will and also tried to let Will understand the girls and Shannon's point of view, you know, which was very sweet and kind of Trina to listen to Will and hear his own side of the story, you know. Yeah, and talking about Trina, um, Genevieve in her... Instagram stories mentioned that, that the producers are not doing Trina right. She's definitely not as 
we perceive her to be on TV, that she's rich, is better, you know. I kind of agree, but at the same time, I also know that the producers will not put the words in your mouth. If you give it to them, they will use it, you know. Just like, you know, she going to Kira and uh, Shannon, they have to say, oh my God, I'm so happy King Cinco chose me. Just an earshot from Cache. I don't think the producers asked her to do that. So yeah, um, Genevieve said that, you know, but I'm just like, you know, these guys are actually not as we think them to be, but, you know, the media will try to always twist it to create drama so yeah just have to say that okay so yeah so will got very emotional you know with his conversation with trina like trina was trying to comfort him i don't know why he was crying though if it, if it was like a defense mechanism or he wanted to be accepted so badly you know that um kids behavior how they do something wrong and then they start to cry they want you to just accept what they i don't know but yeah he got emotional but yeah um, trina advised him he should focus more on his relationship than he's focusing on whether or not shannon accepts or approve of him you know for kira so yeah which is a good advice um kira also had a conversation with the girls especially to shannon like hey she respects, you know, Shannon trying to have her back as a friend, you know, but she also um, has accepted Will and believes him. She trusts Will, she trusts Shannon. Bottom line, she's like, back off, like, back off from my relationship. And Shannon, Shannon was kind of feeling hurt, you know, but she was like, okay, I respect that. I back off. Yeah, I know some people are like, okay, Shannon needs to, you know, Shannon, uh, maybe she overstepped. I don't think she overstepped. Shannon was pissed about the situation. She never talked about it. She only aired her a little bit of her, her mind about the situation during the pie game, but she never went to confront Will. She only spoke out about it and had this whole confrontation with Will when Will put her for a chat. So like Will called for it and he got it. So I don't know why. I don't think Shannon should be feeling bad. I know she's feeling bad, but she doesn't need to feel bad. Will called her. He wanted to know what's in her heart and she gave it to him. It's as simple as that. Yeah. So, so Corey is feeling new girl Bailey. And like I said, Jeremy is also feeling new girl Bailey. The both had conversation with Bailey. You know, she had a conversation with Corey, finding out where he's at with Olivia, you know, and also with Jeremy. Jeremy said among the three girls that came in, he's just focused on Bailey, like really when he goes for someone, when he wants someone, he's just that person. He doesn't look at the others, you know, so he puts his full energy 100%. And for him right now, right now, his focus is on Bailey. He, that he knows that Corey likes her, but he wants her to, you know, to make up her mind and whatever she wants, you know, he'll be up for it. That's with that situation. Olivia, of course, is not feeling it. She's a little jealous. She's put her interest in Corey. She really likes Corey and she's feeling like Corey really likes the new girls, you know. So she put Corey for a chat and like, where are you are? What's going on? You know, I like you. She was at first, you know, considering just backing off and pulling away, you know, but um, I can't remember who advised her, you know, I think Shannon to let Corey know like, hey, everything she was doing with him before the girls came in, she should keep doing it and let him know that, hey, I still want you. Okay, for Olivia, I feel like, okay, Olivia, you, it's time for you to have a taste of your medicine, like what you did to Giovanni. It's time for you to taste it and know how that feels. You know, is it bitter or is it sweet? You know, so yeah, I'm not feeling sorry for her. And Corey's head is just turning everywhere. Turns to Florida, turns to Olivia turns to like his head just keep turning 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 and now it's bailey corey you need to get yourself together and know what you really want and focus on it okay that's what you guys also you know talked among themselves you know and of course bailey is like she's feeling both corey and jeremy but if the olivia factor is not there she would 100 percent go for Corey, but Al Alana was like, hey, Olivia is always there and you cannot win over her. So if I were you, i will focus on Jeremy. But like, okay, that's her advice. Why? Um, Ellie is also interested in Corey and Charlie. Why Bailey is trying to shoot her shot with Charlie. She also had a conversation with Charlie like, hey, what's up with you and the cachet thing? Ellie also had a conversation with Charlie. What's up with you and Cachet thing? When he's like, he's open to knowing new people. And I'm like, brother, really? 
you're open to knowing new people and you are all in your feelings because Cache let go of Cinco and you are just upset that in the back of her head she still wants Cinco who is not in the villa on the island anymore like seriously and you are open to knowing new people like the hypocrisy seriously it is the hypocrisy for me it is the hypocrisy for me Charlie really you know so yeah Elena and Ellie they're gonna try to shoot their shots with with Charlie so we'll see how that goes obviously he's gonna turn head I said it before I even met the new girl so yeah Charlie's gonna turn head poor Cache you know in fact from the morning Cache was already complaining you know to Corey and to Olivia of how uh, I think to Kira how um Charlie's giving her cold shoulders he does not reciprocate her keys her touch you know and she was even trying to prepare breakfast for him like a dutiful wife I'm like oh my god and you know she's been feeling and sensing his his cold feet and he's pulling back and all that so eventually she pulled him up for a conversation like Charlie what's going on you know where where are you at we should be moving forward we shouldn't be having this it's too early you know in our relationship for us to be having this back and forth you know and Charlie's like yes he knows but he's He's so quiet according to the new girls um ellie like is it ellie yeah like he's too kind of quiet he's too calm that was the word she used like he's too calm he just gives this calm vibes like oh yeah i know um but bottom line cashier was like i can't do this i can't you know try to be with a man who i'll give my you know my 100 percent to and he's not reciprocating it i'm like yes cashier that is what you need to do. At this point, I don't even know what she's going to do because any new guy that comes in, she cannot trust him. This is now, this is uh, no Cinco, it's Isaiah, it's Charlie. Now she can't even trust any new guy. It's, I just pray it doesn't, you know, she doesn't crash down on the show. I, 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 I hear they have some kind of counselors they talk to. Genevieve mentioned that in her story. You know, I hope she will be strong to go through this because Charlie from tomorrow's preview, it's like he's going to pull back completely and officially, you know, and Cashier will be single again. And that really sucks because she could have saved single like she told him, you know, but I don't know. Charlie, it's, I think he's made up his mind. Like he's not feeling her. And with his body language and everything, he's giving me the vibes like he wasn't feeling her from day one. Everything was all drama, was all game. He was just playing game to get into the villa. And now he's here and he's going to use the single situation. I get it. Yes, guys, I get it. I get it. Cachet was pulling, was going back and forth with Cinco. I get it that some of you said, oh, she lied. She didn't tell um, Charlie completely that, oh, she wanted to kiss Cinco. She just made it look like Cinco wanted to kiss her. Hey, haven't you been in that situation? Would you tell your current man how you were, have, you were still having feelings for your ex when you both of you met and you really wanted to kiss him, although you did not because you respected your current relationship? Would you do that? Like, everybody do that. I don't know why people are going all over the internet. Oh, Cashier wanted to kiss him. She lied, she lied, she lied. You know, because Cinco did not take an eye kiss, you did not mean he did not want to. He put her to the close corner, meaning what? He wanted to have that moment with her. He, 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 his gesture showed he wanted to kiss her, but she said, I want to, but I, I can't. You know, yes, she may not have related everything concurrently, accurately to Charlie. Does not mean she did not tell. At least she said something. A lot of us don't say the whole truth. We say part of the truth, white lies, whatever you call it. So I don't know why people are bashing Kashi over. Oh, she didn't say this, she didn't say that. Like I'm just saying, that's just me saying. But it just hurts to see that she's going through this again, like not again. This whole this whole thing of giving in to someone, giving your all, they don't reciprocate and they look for the slightest they look for the slightest excuse, you know, to push you away. It's just so annoying. So yeah. New guys are coming. I'm not even excited about the new guys coming because I'm just so hurt with what Kasha is going through. Like, I'm hurt, you know, but the new guys are coming. Hopefully, when Charlie sees them, maybe he will buckle up and that will make me confirm that really he's yet to play games. If he tries to buckle up, because from the preview, I think he breaks up with Kasha finally and then the new boys comes. So if he tries to go back to her when he sees the new boys, then I'm going to clap my hands on his head, Charlie. 
You're not representing me. You're supposed to be my homeboy from Houston. You are really messing up, Charlie. You are. I get it. I get it. Cause she hurts you. I know. But if you really, really, really was into her, like you claim in Castle more, I think you should be able to handle the situation. Like Kache said, like you should be able to hold it down. Like I want this girl and I'm going to stick, you know, through thick and thin and, you know, make it work. But he's not doing it. He's pulling away. When the situation comes, he will pull away. And that's why she, she, she left Cinco and she's going into that same situation. I thought she manifested the right thing, but it seems like there was some mistake in the manifestation. But anyway, it is what it is. So yeah, you guys let me know your thoughts. Share in the comment section. Like, share, comment, subscribe, and I will see you guys tomorrow. Thank you so much, everybody. Bye. I love you. I want nobody but you. I want nobody.